Careful. This is the moment when the supposedly dead killer comes back to life for one last scare. Not in my movie. But what if Billy Loomis somehow survives Scream? Well... Hey guys, I'm back with another Scream video. I'm glad for you, for those of you who tune in my videos, I really appreciate it. I'm a small channel looking to grow. Hopefully one day my channel does become big, but until then I'm still here. But yes, what, what would happen if Billy Loomis were to survive Scream and he never got shot in the head? I talked about how, how what would happen if Randy survived Scream 2 and what, what, would hap what happens if uh, Matthew Lillard, a.k.a. Stu Mocker, is in Scream 5. Because I think Stu Mocker is the only one, is obviously the only one who would have survived being killed. Uh, he got his uh, TV crush on his head. But he could still survive. He's possibly survived. That's a possibility that he survived. But uh, we're not talking about that. I have those videos in my on my channel. Go check those out. What would happen if... Uh, what would happen if, Scream, if Randy survived, and what would happen if, if Stu possibly survived? But what if Billy survived? Now, obviously, Billy's not coming back anytime soon because he was shot in the head. But what if they just like shot him like in the chest or something, and they left him there? And it's kind of like the scenario in I know what you did last summer when they thought they killed the killer. And, but in the next movie, he was there at the end. I would have thought it would have been cool if, like, all these years that uh, you thought Billy was dead, but he ended up being alive. Um, I would have said, if, there, Bill, if they were to injure Billy, this is what I think would happen. They would obviously shoot him, the, uh, shoot him right here, just barely missing his heart and leaving him there. And then, in my opinion, I think he would have returned in Scream 4. Ignoring Scream 2 and 3, he returned in Scream 4. And he would reveal himself as Bill. Uh, he would be like, he'd take off his mask and, and, oh, I'm working with Jill, the killer in Scream 4. And it would be a big shock to everyone. Um, and, then he, and then we'd have Scream 5 and... They would have Matthew Lillard return. But I think they made a big, big, big mistake for killing off Billy. The original Ghostface Killer. I don't count Roman as the original one. No, 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 no. Billy and Stu. Now, Billy, Stu may possibly return in Scream 5. Billy might return in a flashback or just a, some kind of recording or sound recording or something. But I'm still having my fingers crossed on... Um, Stu Mocker, a.k.a. Matthew Lillard, returning for Scream 5. Now, for Billy, um, if he were to survive, he would try to kill Sydney in, in uh, Scream 4. He's like, you thought I was dead? Now, I thought it would have been cool if he would have used, like, the original Ghostface mask that he used, like, in the first movie. It's all crumbly and all gross looking. That would have been cool. Like, let's just say, like, they have a flashback scene. They are at the morgue, and they think Billy's dead, but he actually isn't. He somehow escapes, and somebody and uh, they think that somebody stole the corpse. So they just kind of write it off as, eh, somebody stole the corpse, but actually Billy was alive the entire time. And, like, he's been living somewhere in some off location, and he would have returned once again to kill, uh, try to kill Sydney. But then fails. And he, he teams up with Jill. That would have been a great storyline for number four. A amazing storyline. I wish they would have done it. Also, a, a storyline that I'm surprised they didn't use in Scream 2 was uh, Sydney being pregnant with Stu's baby. And that's Stu, but Billy's baby. I think that would have been a great idea. Because she had sex with Billy towards the end of Scream. And I was thinking, I was like, man... I would be, it would be such a great idea to have Sydney become pregnant by Billy and her having a baby that she would have a bond with, but like, 
and then maybe the a baby turns into a kid, an adult, and that adult does his father's business and tries to kill and tries to kill Sydney. But then Billy comes out of nowhere and says, "I wasn't. I was uh, alive. This. I was alive the entire time." If you guys were following me, uh, I think it'd be cool if Billy were still to be alive. Sydney had uh, Billy's baby. And then the baby knows the uh, baby turns into an adult, and he knows and he knows about Billy, and then they team up together against Sydney. Would have been a great storyline for Scream Four, or Billy teaming up with Jill would have been a great, would have been a great, uh, great would have been a great twist ending too. But what do you guys think? You think they did right by killing up Billy in the first movie? Um, I think they did. I really think they could they had could have expanded more of that. Like the new one I know he did last summer when they brought the killer back. Well, let me know. Let me down. Let me know in the comments down below if you like my thoughts. Okay, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and stay tuned for another episode. I'll see you guys later.